We've got a cyber expert with us, Chris Weitzelpohl, uh, Chief Technology Officer of Vericode. Chris, I explain to us uh, as, as well as you can uh, how, how this was able to spread so far so quickly and what kind of demands were they making? Yes, yeah, so we've seen um, worms before, uh, but not recently. The, the latest, last big worm was called Conficker in 2008, and it wasn't that destructive. destructive. We've also seen ransomware on the rise, but we've never seen the combination of the two, a worm for spreading the ransomware. And that's why this has been unprecedented and so destructive, because we've never seen ransomware hit hundreds of thousands of computers all within a few days. Does it make it, uh, to your point, uh, you know, I've been reading, particularly with hospitals, uh, they've been paying these ransoms, and it feels like a lot of this goes unreported. If it is reported, uh, the, the, we don't hear much in the media. So it seems like one of these crimes that's encouraged because these guys who permit, who do it, they don't ask for a lot of money. In, in this case, they weren't necessarily asking for a lot of money, but they had so many targets. That, exactly. They, they ask for a small amount because they want it to be easier to pay than to try to restore your computer, and in this case, around $300. Um, the thing is, in this case, and this is one of the interesting things about it, is they're saying that the, the ransomware attackers were not prepared for so many people to get hit. And so if you're trying to uh, pay the money to get your computer files back, they're just not responsive because they're getting inundated with thousands of requests. So right now, you really can't pay and get your computer back online. Wow, and of course, they're asking for Bitcoin. Real quick, Ken, the, 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 the response has always been over the years is that just the bad guys are always one step ahead. Can that ever change, that dynamic? Well, I think part of the reason they're one step ahead is because they take advantage of when people don't do the basics with their computer. I mean, in this case, this patch from Microsoft, the update was available for eight weeks, and they're really taking advantage of the fact that a lot of organizations find it hard to patch. Organizations like hospitals find it very hard because they just can't take sensitive equipment down at random times. So they're taking advantage of that, and we just have to change that. We have to change the way we... We manage our systems, and I think this will be a big wake-up call for that. Yeah, I hope so. A lot of these companies are just, let's face it, too, too cheap uh, to do what's right, uh, I think, uh, too often and protect their customers. Chris, thanks a lot. Very informative. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hey,